I've decided that I need to get back on my fitness grind. We've been having fun, we've been partying, we've had birthdays, we've had Coachella, and I've gotten very lazy when it comes to cooking for myself. So I'm saying this out loud to help me and to keep me accountable. I mean, I wanna tell you guys too, but I'm mostly doing this to keep me accountable. My hair is actually so bad right now. I was gonna put my, my, my bangs down to maybe help, and I feel like that made it so much worse. We're just gonna pin those back again but you guys it is finally feeling like summer i'm so excited today i'm just gonna have like a catch-up day we already worked out as you can probably tell we got our smoothie i have a call in like 15 minutes but other than that that's like my only call sorry i just like daydreamed for a second yeah i feel like i have a lot of computer work i have that zoom i have a few emails that i really need to get to i have some like planning i do have some editing i need to do and then i started making over the old gym slash mail room slash office and i really like how it's turning out i'm so excited so i'm filming a main channel video for that so that i need to like already started i need to take all that footage and back it up and then um look over it and see like what else we need to film hey siri what's the weather like today should be sunny today thanks <laughs> We have a high of 73. You guys, it finally feels like summer. All right, guys, get ready to, <coughs> get ready to witness um, probably one of the best glow ups you've seen. You can't tell. My hair is, actually, you probably can't tell. It's really greasy and I look like shit. So totally lost track of time. I had my meeting, I had a fitting and TK's on her way here. She's fully ready to go um, for our event at Nobu in Malibu. So she's probably gonna be here in like 40 minutes. And I currently look like this. So let's fix that. Okay, we are looking for coastal chic. I don't even know what's fully happening. Just said she'll be here in 30 minutes and I look like a french fry. A hot Cheeto to be exact. Hello guys. It's that time of the vlog where we give a shout out to today's sponsor, which is, you guessed it, Pastify. No, because when I tell you that you need to look no further if you're looking for a phone case for your phone that actually protects and has really cute designs. I have used Pastify for years. If you didn't know, I have my own phone case collection with them. This is the My Therapist and I Talk Shit About You case. Absolutely love it. But they just sent me this one. I'm really loving green, if you can tell, because I feel like with my red hair, green just is so complimentary. So I'll probably go to this one next. And they also sent me a new watch band for my Apple Watch. But one of my favorite things about Casefy is not only does it protect your phone, it also protects the environment. And one of those ways is their re Casefy collection where they take older phone cases and recycle them to make new ones. Basically any older cases or even um, like scraps in the manufacturing process they will use to make phone cases like this one right here. Their impact series protects your phone up to 8.2 feet. Their ultra impact cases up to 11 feet and their bounce series 21.3 feet. I'm thinking we do a drop test. And as you can see, not a scratch in sight. And if that still doesn't convince you, if you go to www.casetify.com slash Alicia Marie, you can get 15% off your entire order. No promo code needed. Just go to my link. I'll have it in the description box. Thank you again to Casetify for sponsoring. We love you. And um, let me know what color your phone case is right now. Comment it below. Anyways, let's get back to the vlog. Contacts. Oh my God. I don't know where the time literally just, I don't know where it went. I don't know where it went. I'm like, what did I do all day? I feel like I did nothing all day. Okay. Hair, sleek bun. Anytime, and I mean anytime you see my hair in a slick bun, you know that it's just very, very dirty. Yes, I'm fully exposing myself. I feel like my red hair has already faded so much, which is crazy because it's been like a week. I feel like I already need to go back to get it touched up. I've gotten comments before when I talk about my hair being, <laughs> my hair being greasy. And my favorite is I'll get comments every now and then being like, here's an idea, why don't you wash your hair? You clearly don't understand 
the whole hair dyeing process and like, you know, the struggle of working out. Of course, I would love to do that. But you know, when it comes to hair dye, like that whole struggle is a thing, especially red hair on top of that. I feel like the whole other thing is like the workout struggle when you want to work out, but you also don't want your hair to be nasty. Cute. <laughs> Hairspray. Slay. Okay, we ended up doing white on white. They seemed like the same color. Mm, they don't really match. Ah! Okay, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. We're fine. I have the matching skirt for this, but I don't think I'm gonna like how it looks on. Good news and bad news. The matching skirt is not a skirt. They're pants and they're so comfy, but I don't love how they fit. Shh. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> like it's just okay. It's not bad but it's just okay. Okay, I ended up choosing this. We have no time to change again. Skirt, Mistress Rocks, top, Tigerist, I think? Princess Polly, I'm not positive. But we gotta throw makeup on. I'm gonna do hoops, but I think I want bigger ones. Anytime I have my hair slicked back, like the, the best thing you can do is wear big hoops because it just kinda finishes the vibe. Okay, we're about to do this so fucking quick. Let me wash my beauty blender. Sunscreen. I hope they have food here. To be honest, I don't even know what this event is. Tiki was like, I have this event to go to. Do you want to be my plus? And I was like, yeah, sure, let's go. I'm not sure if it's like a full dinner situation. It could just be like appetizer. Like sometimes you also go to these things and they say there's going to be dinner and then they only like pass out like a bite-sized edible flower. <laughs> and like, that's the food. Wow, y'all, here's a makeup routine. I change up my foundation literally every day, but today we're using the Giorgio Armani. I think I have a little bit of a tan still, so hopefully this matches. Foundation is a little dark, but I think concealer can fix that. Contour. Even if I have basically no makeup on, I am always adding bronzer and contour to my face. I feel like it just makes me feel like me. Makeup by Mario, contour stick and light medium. Cream blush. I haven't used this one in a while. This is the Cheeks Out from Fenty in Rose Latte, but I felt like it kind of matched my hair. So I just thought it'd be really pretty. Oh yeah. Oh, that's actually really pretty. Okay. My hair is exhausted. Concealer. Tart. A little boom, a little boom, boom, and then, I don't know. I just felt like doing a lot of If I have 10 minutes, like I do right now, to do my makeup, I would much rather focus on my face and complexion and then just do light eye makeup. Cause I feel like eyes take me the longest cause face, I pretty much do the same thing every day. Where with eyes, I'm like, okay, let's just go for a more minimal kind of look. My arm is exhausted. Do you like this already? Like I look like a human. Okay, the quickest little setting. That brows is also the biggest step. We can't forget the brows. Benefit precisely my brow. I'm so jealous of people who don't need to fill in their brows. Meanwhile, mine are tattooed on because I microbladed them and I have to fill them in. I'm like, hold up, you gotta see this. Like, like, very different. I've never used this before, but it's the Charlotte Tilbury Filmstar Bronzing Glow Palette. I've used the highlighter, but I've never used this bronzer, but it was literally right in front of me. So honestly, something I've prioritized this year is trying different makeup products because I felt like I used to just use the same thing every single day. And I was like, Alicia, your job is to like try things out, review them and like find products. And even with like how much PR I get, I'm like, this is stupid. You need to like try new stuff every day. Like I'm always nervous. I'm going to hate something and then I'm stuck with it all day. Like if I use a primer and my foundation looks horrible all day, then like that sucks. But what if I find a primer that's better than all my other primers, you know? Like it goes both ways. Oh my God. Wow, I'm killing it. We are killing it. And then eyes, I'm literally just gonna like lightly add a contour powder to it. So we're going natural. I'm thinking highlight color all over lid. Yep, mm -mm, I don't like that. I don't love it, but it's okay. Oh, even that one, I just, like it looks fine. It looks fine, it looks fine. We don't have time, Alicia. Where's my eyelash curler? Another must for me, lashes. These are the Ardell Accent 318s. I prefer the 315s, but these were quickest in reach. But I think they'll look a little more natural, so it's actually okay. Is this even interesting to see like this really rushed makeup tutorial? And we just pop that. <gasps> Shit, we're good. Anyone else always struggle to put their earrings on? That's what I get for getting them done at Walmart when I was seven. And just like that, we are ready. Here's the fit. I'm not obsessed with it, but I don't hate it. I mostly only brought this jacket because I know it's gonna be freezing. I like it. Thanks. 
Thanks. It's definitely like I had on cowgirl boots and it just didn't feel right. Like something about it. I feel like, I don't know. I kind of like the snakeskin ones. Jacket is, I think it's good. In, oh no, no, no. I got this from Revolve. Let's see if I can read backwards. Lamar Lamarck. I love a cropped jacket and I love a cropped oversized jacket even more. And then shoes are from Schutz because those are my favorite. That's my favorite shoe brand. That's the fit. Also, I feel like I actually did my makeup pretty, pretty damn good. Also, I ended up having time to do my lips here, not in the car because um, the Uber just now got here. So slay. Speaking of slays, <laughs> I'm just, you know, getting mirror picks oh, <laughs> and whatnot. Still have something in my teeth. Can't get it out. It's okay. I can't tell. Okay, great. Oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. This is a key platinum. It's an extra Yeho tequila. Oh my That's the filter fruit charcoal. The brand that beautiful. Wow. Enjoy. Thank you. So we're taking our shot. Okay, wait. What do you taste it with? No, I don't know. Nothing. Because we're like, Mr. Monster. Yes. We have never fangirled for it, guys. Sienna, okay. get over here. Cheers, cheers, cheers. 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 Cheers.
What? So gonna test these ones out. The next thing is actually not tech related whatsoever. These are what I use to get rid of my spray tan because I feel like I've been self tanning a lot. I'm a moly girl, we all been new. I recently went to the dermatologist and they had to test like a few moles and stuff too for skin cancer and stuff, like just to test, like not that they think it is, but if you can relate, you get the struggle. So as much as I would love to have a natural tan, I've been trying to not be in the sun that much. It sucks because I can actually tan, like my skin tans really well, but knowing like how many moles and stuff that I have and like freckles and sunspots, I'm just like, it's not worth it. So we've been a huge fan of self tanners and spray tans, but getting them off is a bitch. So these are, these, these are like Korean washcloths. And when I tell you they exfoliate so well, it's so easy. These are a must. I go through these a lot. My spray tan lady actually recommended these to me and they're perfect. Like so good. Way better than the loofah. Way better. The next thing. Oh, speaking of, I bought a ring light and it broke in. I got, okay, it was a cheap one. I got a new one and I'm excited because this one, it's cordless and that's why I really wanted to try it. I'm gonna have to be good about charging it. However, I think it'll just be so nice and easy to move it around if I need it at whatever time. So I will try this one out, let you guys know if I like it. But I love how you can charge it or you can plug it into the wall, like you have options. So I was excited. Anyways, I know what's in here. And I'm really excited. It's not gonna come as a shocker because I'm obsessed with all of this stuff. If I, oh my God, if I ever got a brand deal with Philips Hue, I think I would actually throw up from excitement. I'm obsessed with them. I want all of my recessed lighting to be Hue. Cause I have some, but I need, I want all of them. I feel like I on it. I got these two table lights and they're white. So they're, they're basically like the long ones I have on the floor, but they're for the tabletops. They're good lighting for vlogging and for filming and everything. So what's nice is like, they're also just like cute lights I can have out 24 seven. I've told you guys I'm redoing my office, the one in here, not the big one. And I would love to have good lighting set up and that's easy to do, whether that's the ring light, whether that's this, for when it comes to like Zooms or anything like that. I am obsessed with these. So I got two. You guys, I don't know what happened. I thought I ended this vlog and clearly I didn't because I suck. Um, but I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you really soon with another vlog. Love you. Bitch,